Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add more depth to your flat drawings. And I have made this video on Procreate, but you can use all the techniques in any software of your liking. So here I am actually creating the basic flat design that I want to add more depth into. And hence, you can select your own painting and it can be anything or you can just copy what I'm doing right here. You also want to make sure that you are actually creating each and every element in a separate layer. And that is really, really essential for this to work as we are going to be enabling alpha lock for each and every element to add more shadows and highlights to it. So make sure you're working in layers. So to add shadows and everything, I am using soft airbrush and I am taking up this really uh, sort of dark kind of color, darker than the base color that I chose to paint that cloud. And I am really lightly adding this at the very bottom. Really the key here or the key in adding depth in any sort of um, drawing object drawing object is to play around with different colored shadows and highlights and that's about it. It's really easy. So as you guys can see, I first um, went over the cloud really lightly and then I created this shadow really at the right at the bottom, but that shadow looks a bit harsh as compared to the initial one right and then i went ahead again and picked up a color which was even darker than the color that i just used and i used that color to create a harsh looking shadow right at the very bottom now before we move further i just want to uh, quickly explain you guys how you want to select colors for shadows and highlights so you basically want to select a base color which will be the color of that particular element without any shadow and highlight. So let's just save here um, for the sun I have this really desaturated kind of yellow color. Now for the shadow what I will do is I will on the color wheel I will darken that color up but also at the same time I will make sure that the color that the darker color is a bit saturated than the previous one so as you go darker also make sure also make sure you are also increasing the saturation of that color now i'm going to add the really bright and white kind of color at the top of the cloud now that's about it it's really easy to really actually add you know dark shadows and light shadows and also making sure that you are you know combining the shadows in a way that there is a good balance between soft looking ones and harsh looking ones as in the cloud you guys can see the dark or harsh looking shadow right at the bottom is kind of you know merging uh, with the base color of the cloud if that is making any sense because we also added soft looking shadows before we added the harsh one i hope this is making sense you guys uh, it's really really easy so what I would suggest you guys doing is you just follow the similar artwork and um, I would I will link I would give a link down in the description to the color palette that I used so what you can do is you can just follow this tutorial step by step to see um, how easy it is to add depth or to make it look 3d it is actually looking almost close to 3d so there is nothing much to explain it just you have to first of all create shadow and highlight and also make sure you have a combination of soft looking ones and harsh looking ones as for the sun as you guys can see i added um, this dark color at the bottom and also made sure that i added harsh looking shadow as well really close to the cloud so the harsh looking shadow i added is actually really close to the cloud and everything else the soft looking one the soft looking shadow is actually moving towards uh, the upper part of the sun if that is making any sense and i also added this really light white kind of color at the top of the sun just to kind of uh, give it a 3d look also if you are drawing something which has eyes do not color the eyes black 
take a grayish kind of color for the eyes so that when we are adding shadows we can use black color to add shadows because if you use black there's no darker color than black so it'll be hard for you to create that 3d-ish look so if there is something which should be colored as black make sure you are using a darker gray color for that and that's about it you guys i'm just gonna in the similar fashion gonna uh, add shadows and highlights to the sun rays as well and i'm just gonna be fast forward I'm just going to fast forward this process because really there's nothing much to explain than the colors that I use and how to use them and it's really easy so I'm just going to fast forward this and we will see the final result so here's the final result and it actually really looks good as compared to the design we started off with so yeah you can actually go ahead and practice uh, this technique this is not really a technique it's just adding shadows in a in a way that it makes the artwork or the flat design look 3d it's just a manipulation of shadows and highlights and if you want to improve in this area what you can do is you can just study uh, 3d artworks and just to see how the shadows are and how the highlights are so yeah i hope that made sense um this was a really quick video i really hope you guys enjoyed this if you do create this from this tutorial tag me on instagram i would love to see that and yeah if you want to start creating more 3d objects but not on the 3d software then yeah keep on practicing so other than that i will see you guys in the next video